and ideas at the Republican presidential debate tonight. Round two for the GOP ended just about an hour ago, and tonight's debate featured several confrontations, mostly attacks targeting frontrunner Donald Trump. Trump said Rand Paul should not even be on the stage. Paul fired back, saying Trump's attacks are out of junior high school. Jeb Bush got into it with the Donald over casinos in Florida. And Carly Fiorino fired back against Trump over his comments on her looks. The winner of the debate still to be determined, but many considered tonight's event a make or break for the candidates who are lower in the polls. And women across the U.S. are some of the most important people watching tonight's debate. Their vote is the key in the race to the White House. Yeah, Carity on News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us in the Newsplex. Emily, you watched tonight's debate with several women to get their reaction on who did best in what really was a war of words. That's right, James and Heather. The three women that I spoke to did have some favorites going into this, but they said they were open to hear what other candidates had to say. Now, the big question tonight, did any of these candidates say the right things to, to, to secure their vote? These women are hungry for a great debate and ready to drink in these candidates' words. Becca Keating has her favorites going into the debate. And I've been very impressed with uh, Carly Fiorani and also Ben Carson. And Pamela Bartol knows what she'll be looking for. I want to see Donald Trump and Ben Carson contend with each other. And I want to see how the two of them handle stress between each other in a conflict. Amen. Karen Bugatti has strong feelings about the Iran nuclear deal and relations with Russia. I don't understand. But she doesn't have strong feelings for any particular candidate. A lot of things that he's going to do. These candidates need these women and their counterparts around the country if they want to win the White House. What's important to me? I think one of the main things is the economy. We need a leader who will inspire us to follow him. The big question coming out of this debate, did any of these candidates convince these women to vote for them? I am going to reconsider for Carly Fiorino. There's no one leader. It seemed more like a brawl to me, actually. Going back and forth, you know, well, he said this, they said that. They said, and they tried to defend these comments that they are making rather than the issues. So these candidates will have to keep working. They'll need to convince these women they deserve their vote. Now, we are about a month out from the showdown between Democratic candidates that will be hosted on October 13th. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. All right, thanks.